First, we had to consult the instruction guide. It gave us clear cut instructions, so we followed them to the best of our ability. We ran into some problems on the way, but through perseverance and hard work, we were able to succeed. Hi, I'm Peter Maribal, Chief Hardware Engineer for the DF Robot. I'm responsible for placing the new brackets for our robot and for mainly putting together all the cabling for the engines connecting to the motherboard. Hi, I'm Cesar Serrano and uh, Lion. You're the aesthetics guy. I'm the aesthetics guy and the muscle. Hey there, my name is Gabriel Sierra and I'm the editor of the video of this competition. And the coders are Italo, Edward, and Nanners. Coder extraordinaire. At first, the code was rocky, and Nanners was pretty upset. But after a little while, and a couple of trial and error runs, we got the hang of it. And eventually, everything worked out for the best. The code reads two conditional if statements. If statements work like this. If a condition is met, then execute the code. The if statements determine whether the front sensor is closer to or farther from a certain distance. Then the if loop will determine which sensor, left or right, reads a greater distance. This information is used to make a move left if the left sensor is a greater distance, and right if the right sensor is a greater distance. If all sensors are reading too close, the robot will back up, make a left turn for 0.3 seconds, and then continue on normally. You may have noticed this in the beginning of the successful run. He's drunk again. Drinking affects the frontal lobe and the ability to react quickly. By adding a delay in the movement command and a swerve in the forward movement, we were able to correctly simulate drinking without having to hard code the path. The robot is making his own decision to turn left or right, but improperly and with a strong delay. <laughs> 